my mom, since she's gotten to America and had us two girls, has spent her entire life devoted to raising us. And I know the last thing she ever thought that was going to happen did. news he raped and brutally beat a high school senior as she dropped off a book at the Bloomingdale Library. My sister is the most responsible person and she had to return that book to the library because she didn't want it to be past due. Judge Tharp said Morris knew what he was doing and said the crime was more than youthful discretion. Quina's family was in court today, and while happy with the life sentence, their outcome will never change. It's not a, a, a joyous moment in any sense for us. Um, we're still going to have to go back home and take care of Quina forever. I'm a, a mom, a nurse, a caregiver, and maybe a doctor, too. Emotional day as a young Tampa Bay survivor takes her first steps in nine years. She's always smiling. And the crazy thing is that it's one of her best abilities and the ability she did not lose was the ability to stay positive and to, and to be joyful and to smile. every day for 12 years, smiling when she wakes up. And to, I don't know how she does that, especially going through what she did and ha having lost so much, but somehow she's found the power to wake up every day and be thankful. She just went through so much pain and suffering, and now she's inspiring so many people.